Hi, welcome to another video. So, I recently saw Repo Prompt, which I found really cool because it allows you to copy the code context of any of your projects and then paste it into chat interfaces similar to ChatGPT or Claude. You can then paste it in the response to have the changes applied because this lets you use your own ChatGPT, Claude, or Grok subscription to make changes instead of paying additionally for services like Cursor, Windsurf, or anything like that. But the issue is that Repo Prompt, although great, is not open source, and some of its better features are paid. However, I found an open source alternative to it that looks kind of amazing, and I have been using it. I figured out a workflow that is kind of amazing to use, is fully free and lets you use the best models because most providers offer the models for free. Now, this repo is called PasteMax. If you're aware of Repo Prompt, then it's basically just like that, except for the apply features. It allows you to open a repo or project folder, and it can help you copy the context of all that stuff in one prompt, which you can then give to any tool to use. Ader also has a similar feature, but it's non-graphical and does not offer as much control. Anyway, what PasteMax gives you is an app that lets you easily navigate, search, and copy code from repositories. It has file tree navigation that lets you browse directories and files with an expandable tree view. And you also get token counting, search capabilities, selection, sorting, binary file detection, and smart file execution. It is actually super simple to use, and it's open source as well, which is great. Now let me tell you how you can run it locally, and then use it with things like ChatGPT, Grok, or Claude. But before we do that, I want to take a quick break to tell you about Dart AI, which is something that's been a game changer for my workflow lately. It's an AI-powered project management tool that's honestly quite amazing. You can generate entire project plans from a simple prompt, detect duplicate tasks automatically, create subtasks, and, this is the coolest part, you can actually assign tasks to the AI itself, and it will complete them for you. You can use it to generate blog posts, research topics, and even create thumbnails without having to do the work yourself. It's pretty insane how good it is. The best part? It's completely free for teams up to four people. If you need more, they have $8 and $12 plans with even more features. Dart also has some great integrations. You can connect it with GitHub to link issues and PRs, integrate with Slack and Discord for updates, and even use their API to build custom workflows. If you're working on projects of any kind, you should really give Dart a try. It's built from the ground up with AI in mind, and it shows in how seamlessly everything works. Check out the link in the description to get started. It's free, so you've got nothing to lose. And trust me, it'll change how you manage your projects. Now, back to the video. So first, get it cloned on your computer, then just get into the folder that you just cloned. Now, install the dependencies with the npm install command. Once that's done, you'll need to build the app with npm run build electron, and then you have to run it with npm run dist, and you'll see the pastemax app open up. The interface is quite simple, but let me just quickly walk you through it. So. Here's the theme settings option. Light, dark, system, and stuff like that. Then, you have the folder that is currently open. You can open any of them by clicking the select folder option and then opening the folder you need to use. Now, you can see all the files in your project in the tree view, which is kind of great. And you can also search for any specific file if you wish. You can also select all or deselect all. The selection here will add the content of the files to the prompt when you copy. 
I automatically remove the unnecessary ones, like node modules and stuff, but you can also manually opt out if you wish. So, this is great. You can see all the files here, along with how many tokens each file takes, which will help you understand which are the biggest token-consuming files, which is great. You can also sort the files in multiple ways. For example, you can select token high or token low sorting and stuff like that. There's also the total number of files and the total number of tokens that you'll copy. So, there's that. Now, once you have figured all that out, you can just click the copy all selected option and it will copy the content, which you can then paste into something like ChatGPT or anywhere to chat. You can also include the file tree while copying, which will help the AI understand where the files are located in your repo, which is kind of cool. Now, let's try to use it because there's still a puzzle piece left, and that's how we will apply the changes given by the LLM to the local repo. Well, I have a solution for that, but let's first try to use it. So, I'm going to use Grok3 here because it's free on their platform, and it seems to be a really good example for this, as it's currently only available on their chat platform. I have this project, which is an image cropper and properties changer, so I will just copy it here, and now here I'll paste it. Now, let's write our prompt here. I want to ask it to add an option that allows me to write text over the image, which is pretty challenging but let's see if it works. Once we send it, you'll see that Grok starts working on it. If we wait a bit, then it's done, and we have the response here. It has proposed some changes that look quite good, but now, how should we apply them? Well, we can do it manually, but that's super tedious. So, what I do is that I generally have Klein set up with Gemini, as that's free, and has a super long context window. Then, what I do is that I just create an apply markdown file and then ask Klein to apply the changes mentioned in the file to the app. And it actually does that very accurately. I really like it because it's actually kind of amazing to use in most cases. Gemini does a great job of applying, while bigger models, which we generally already pay for, whether via ChatGPT, Grok, or any other, can be used to their fullest without spending a whole lot on things like APIs, which are quite pricey these days. So, this is amazing, and it makes a world of difference if you want to use models whose APIs are not available, like Grok3. It is amazing to see. You can also use Repo Prompt as well, although I have been using PasteMax, and I'm quite happy with it, as it's open source and super clean and simple to use. Repo Prompt has a bunch of quirks which are good, but are a little harder for general users to understand, whereas this is literally super simple and easy to use. Make sure that you give this workflow a try, because I have really been loving it, and saving on API costs for smaller projects can really benefit your wallet. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.